What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to give you my top three books for business, motivation, whatever you need to get you going. These three books were the top three books that helped me make it through the market crash and to build my business the correct way. It just gave me so much motivation and it just helped me to continue to push through all those hard times. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. And do me a favor real quick before I get into these top three books, click that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And I also wrote two books myself, Zero to Diamond and List to Last. They're both on Amazon, Kindle, Audible, however you want to read them or listen to them, they are available. Do me a big favor and check those out and leave me an Amazon review if you got any value whatsoever. Now, a lot of you have been following me for quite a while now, several years, and you know my story. I was a millionaire by 23, I lost it all in the crash, I went back to roofing houses, worked on an oil rig, and during that time I read over a hundred books in a two year span, um, and I just really kind of turned my life around and realized so much about what I did wrong, why I lost everything, and what I needed to do to get it all back. So I still have the original copy that I bought of my very favorite, my top book, which I'll share with you at the end, but these first two I don't have a copy because I've given them all out. Um, I bought so many copies of both of these books I'm fixing to tell you about, um, but I've given them to people to try to help them. So I don't actually have a copy here, but coming in at number three is Shift by Gary Keller. Okay, Shift is more so for real estate agents um, in the real estate market, but it pertains to any market. It pertains to any industry. It literally shows you the cycles of a market, what to look for, and how to capitalize on a market when it's down and how to continue to thrive through the market. And the entire thesis here, I believe, what I got out of it was that when the market is down, you, that is the moment that you acquire so much market share in your industry so that when the market does rebound, and it always will, your, mar your percentage of market share, you, you know, your business explodes because that, that market share is acquired and it's just not going anywhere. So I, I thought that was that was very big for me and I read it during the market crash. I read it 2000, I read it towards the end of 2007, 2008, um, which was uh, my lowest point and it really helped me understand what was going on and what I needed to do to overcome it. And it gave me hope and confidence in the market that it would rebound and that I needed to, to really fully commit and go all in with it. So, um, you know, big recommendation for me, Shift by Gary Keller. Coming in at number two is gonna be the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. I actually listened to this first on Audible, then I bought the hard copy and read it again, gave that book out many times, um, but the 10X Rule, I actually read that as the about a month or two into the business, um, you know, after I got back in the business, after getting laid off from the oil rig, you know, I was kind of fresh back into real estate and I was still reading a lot and that's, that was the moment that I read the 10X Rule and really it made me realize that I needed to test my boundaries as far as goals and what I'm trying to achieve. It really pushed me to think bigger than I was already thinking. Um, and still to this day, I still implement um, things that I've read in, in all the hundred books that I read. I still Im implement little here and little there of different things that I picked up. So when you read a book, you know, you, you may it may be just one sentence in the book that that makes it worth it. You know, it may be just one sentence or one idea or one paragraph or one chapter, or it may be the entire book. You know, every book is different. So I got a little bit out of every book and you just stack it up. You know, you stack those ideas up and you kind of mold into and create your own way, if you will, your own path, your own journey. So the 10X rule is all about thinking bigger than you already think. Um, it, it goes into the world of abundance, which I'm a huge component of the world of abundance. I believe that everything is completely unlimited. You know, it, it's, it's all 
you know, your success is completely based on how much you can handle and how much you're willing to work um, because the, there's no shortage of success, no shortage of business, no shortage of money. Um, it's just unlimited. So this book really opened my eyes up to a lot of things. And if you haven't read it, I would highly suggest it. And I hope that you also get a lot out of it. And coming in at number one on my favorite, all-time favorite business, motivational, inspirational book of all time, and it has nothing to do with real estate, is, and this is the original copy that I bought uh, from day one when I read this book, is The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. This book, uh, I've read this book more than any book I've ever read, and I'll say that it just, it, it blows me away each time that I read it. Every time that I read it, I pick up something new out of it that really changes my life. I mean, th this, this is a game changer. It's a life changer. Um, and so many people, because I've been recommending these books for a while now, and so many people have reached out, especially about the slight edge, and said how it really has shaped their future and really given them the tools, the mental tools and the confidence needed uh, to push through. And you know, just a quick synopsis, it's, it's basically, it comes down to the little things that you do every day that add up to be so huge. But in the short term, you don't realize how big these things Things are okay for example you know anything I mean you know let's think about business and, and real estate making phone calls you make phone calls you do a phone call session your business didn't change that much you didn't make any money the day you made phone calls you might have picked up a few future clients that may do something in six months to a year or next month but nothing happened today your, your life doesn't look any different today based on this phone call session. But when you do this phone call session every day, the way that you're supposed to do it, over the course of a year to two years, you look back and all of a sudden you're the number one agent in your area and you think, how did I do that? Just by making phone calls, something so simple, but it's that little simple things done consistently over time. One of the, uh, I believe one of the examples that Jeff Olson made, and Jeff Olson and Darren Hardy, you know, Darren Hardy wrote The Compound Effect, and it's a very similar um, idea. You know, it's, it's very, very similar. Jeff Olson illustrates it just night and day better, um, in my opinion, um, but it's the same philosophy there, and I can't remember which one it was, but they talked about, you know, if you eat a hamburger, okay, if you eat a hamburger today, you're not gonna look any different, okay, today. Yeah, you're, 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 when you look in the mirror, you eat a hamburger, and you look in the mirror, you're not gonna look any different right then, okay? But if you eat a hamburger every day for six months, even a month, up to a year, whatever, you're gonna look completely different in a negative way. However, if you eat a salad, you know, grilled chicken salad today, same thing, you're not gonna look any different when you look in the mirror, but over the course of six months, you're gonna look much different, okay, in a positive way, okay? But, you know, it's, it's what you consistently do okay are you eating a hamburger every day you know think about it figuratively in your business are you eating a hamburger every day in terms of are you not making phone calls are you not doing the things that you're supposed to do and doing things that you're not supposed to do or that aren't productive or are you eating the grilled chicken salad you know are you making your phone calls are you following up are you doing the things that you need to do to succeed okay so the things that are done consistently over time all right success and failure are both slow processes Either way it goes, you're either slowly succeeding at a high level or you're slowly failing at a high level. So it's your decision based on your day-to-day -day activities. And that's why I say don't focus on the results so much as your day-to-day -day actions. If you do the actions, the results are gonna happen the way they're supposed to happen. So The Slide Edge, complete game changer. I want you guys to read it. I want everyone to read it. And uh, I think that it's a must for anyone, not just business, life, any industry, 
whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter to me. This is the game. Okay, guys, those are my top three book picks for you. Um, I'll put links below for those and my books, of course. And I hope that these books, if you haven't read them already, really shape your life moving forward. And if you need any more book recommendations, if you've already read these, just hit me up and uh, I'll share something with you. So until next time, let me know what videos you want me to make for you and I'll be sure to get that done. If you have any questions or anything else I can do for you, hit me up on Instagram. That's the best place. I answer every single DM. And uh, with that, I'll talk to you guys soon. Let's go.